what we're going to be looking at sewing today are pumpkins and these ones are called jack o' lantern but obviously we're not going to sow these seeds like we would regular seeds due to the size so you just need to make sure you start them off in right size pot you don't want to be sowing pumpkin seeds into these type of cells the plants are going to grow too big too quick you're going to have problems with root growth even a pot this size which i grow cucumbers in i wouldn't grow pumpkins in this size i'd have to go even bigger so i like to start them off in nine centimeter pots this is going to give that plant plenty of space to grow its roots and for the tops to expand it as well before you need to take it out and you want to be planting these seeds now mid-april to mid-may is when i usually do them because obviously a jack o lantern is your classic halloween pumpkin and it grows to about five to ten pounds in weight and you can also use these pumpkins as well as halloween carvings you can also use them to make soups pies and curries so they're pretty versatile pumpkin but also you need to know that when you're growing a regular pumpkin like this the vine can grow to six feet in length and it will put off secondary vines as well so as they're growing if you just want to get two five to ten pound pumpkins you need to cut off a secondary vine when it grows and bury it in the ground or you could have three or four average size ones that's entirely up to you but the main thing is you can't grow them vertically and they will grow to six feet so when you do decide to grow your pumpkins just bear in mind that you will need to accommodate them that amount of space at least and that's per plant there is however another variety that you can get and it's called jack b little which we'll be covering uh, maybe at the weekend i'm just waiting for the seeds to arrive and that one grows miniature pumpkins at about three inch in diameter and they are still edible and sweet but the beauty of those pumpkins is you can grow them in containers so if you haven't got a garden and you still want to grow some little baby pumpkins then you can do it in a container and you can train them up a trellis or a wire frame but we'll cover those at the weekend more in depth so first off with these what we need to do is get some compost in it and make sure you firm down this compost as well we want a nice bed for these seeds to germinate in then we'll take a look at these seeds now as you can see they are quite large seeds so like I say you're better off starting them off in something this size because within a couple of weeks of germinating if you put them in the smaller pots you're going to have to be taking them out and disturbing the roots even more so we'll pop it in like so in the middle of your pot push it down I'd say push it down about an inch in depth and then we just cover it up and I'm just going to do a couple of these if you get any seeds that feel really thin or we've got little cracks in them they're probably not going to work so I wouldn't bother with them just try and find a nice plump one and push it in again about an inch deep cover it over and that's pretty much all you need to do with those then we just need to water these in make sure you give them a good watering as well because we need to soften the shell on that seed some people soak them but I don't bother doing that and you're going to need to keep these somewhere warm to germinate they should be fine at this time of year mid-April in your greenhouse but if it does drop cold at any point you might need to just move them indoors so that's your two jack-o-lanterns already set up and as I said, remember that when you do plant them outside, they are going to grow to six feet and try and put out secondary vines as well. And each time a vine grows, it will put down more roots into the soil, as does the main vine. And make sure they get plenty of feed as well, because they are very heavy feeders like squash. So just a quick video just to cover these pumpkins and say that if you want to grow any pumpkins and you want them by October, get your seeds in now.
because these are going to be a, probably around 30 days in these pots before they're going to be big enough to plant out. So thank you very much for watching that video, really appreciate it. And at the weekend, as I said, we will cover the Jack B. Little pumpkin ones as well, because that variety might be more convenient for some people. And we'll probably set one up or one or two up in a planter on the container garden area as well, so we can see how they progress through the season. So if you want to be part of that, then please just hit that subscribe button and press the notifications bell. And I'll see you on the next video. You all take care.